It's Miss New York USA weekend. Welcome to my life as a content creator. This weekend is Miss New York USA and I'm super excited and I will be going to support my friend Soraya. Why do I have so many friends in pageants? Because I used to compete in pageants if you don't know. I was Miss Montana USA 2018 so I still like to go to pageants and support. That's what we're going to be doing and even though I'm not competing I still get really excited and I like to just get dressed up and just be really in the spirit of pageantry. So one of the first things I'm going to go do is make sure that I tan myself. Oh yeah everything's kind of a mess right now let's not worry about that I've been working working a lot this week I am gonna go to Sephora right now and also I'm gonna try to stop by a branded Maxwell sample sale to kind of see like what's going on are there any pieces there I may be doing a Vegas trip really soon with one of my girlfriends Dana and we don't really have that many Vegas outfit options so I'm gonna save I don't think they're gonna have anything there for that but we're gonna go check that out. My hair hates humidity. I'm wearing a backpack and I kind of feel like Dora the Explorer right now. Aprendamos español. Soy Danny. Estoy aprendiendo. Estoy aprendiendo español. Look at my hair. Looks crazy. Vamos. Mi español es muy malo. Side, but I'm gonna have to check my backpack and that's pretty typical for these sample sales and then at the end I'll just get it and check out <laughs> for a dinner in Vegas because it's jeans it just feels more casual but the fit is incredible so that's what I'm really excited about now I am walking over to Sephora on Madison I'm gonna get home and start getting ready I need to do my nails exfoliate tan prepare for tomorrow I made myself some dinner did a face mask. I'm gonna shower, exfoliate, skincare. I don't exactly know the order. The order is important for pageant preparation.
oh my gosh. I did not know if Olaplex was hype, and it is not, because I my hair is still a little bit damp, but I blow dried it. I feel like I just got out of a salon. <laughs> so now that is a part of my hair care routine. Fantastic, more product. Tomorrow I'm putting my hair in a ponytail anyways, so that was kind of pointless. Why did I actually do that? That was a waste of product. Well, moving on. is tan. I love this because the tanning stuff I put on doesn't dry out my face but oh wait I didn't tan my stomach. <laughs> tan my arms and my legs. So oh it looks good. Oh my gosh it looks great. So I'm gonna cook and wash all of this off. Take my vitamins. I made some eggs, sausage, and onions. I have my uh -huh. raspberry leaf tea, grapefruit, and then I put some fruit and granola in yogurt. I'm so upset at myself. Apparently, I hit the slow-mo button on my camera, which slows everything down and gets rid of all the audio. This was my morning skincare routine I forgot to film. This is the Naked and Thriving Illuminate Serum. I threw on some vitamin C, niacinamide. I used the L'Occitane Emulsion Enrich. I also have this Retin Alt. I don't know how to pronounce the brand. And then La Roche-Posay Sunblock. Then it was time to put on my makeup before I did my hair, so I did all of that. film this part but this is what I put all over my legs shoulders and chest when I go to events I got hungry again while I was getting ready so I ate some leftovers from the night before and I'm so happy that I did this because it ended up being a really long day and I needed all of that energy here is my look for prelims I'm wearing a Jonathan Simkai dress I have this purse that I got from Goodwill it's by Bellini I also wore some shuts heels that I got from Buffalo Exchange I decided to wear some vintage earrings that I found at Savers. This is the finished hairstyle and makeup, and after that, I was ready to jump on the train. I just realized that I did not pack snacks. I think I have time. I should be able to get a bar somewhere and throw that in my purse because I'm just not going to be a happy camper if I don't have snacks for the show. I only have two bar options, so this is what I got in case I need a little snack. Since I wore extensions and that ponytail, I took some preventative medicine for my oncoming headache. I'm so glad that I did that. I ate my donut and my sparkling water and I waited for Trevor, which is Soraya's boyfriend, to pick me up so that we can go to the venue. This year's pageant was at Purchase College. It was a huge venue. It was lovely. I also got to sit with my sister Green Miss Massachusetts USA 2018, Alyssa, for the show. That was a special surprise. This entire production was fantastic. I really love that the ladies wore all of these cute outfits that they got to choose for their opening number. They got to wear black, silver, or gold, and they looked incredible. And then we got straight into prelims, and I like it. They kept the show moving. So let me show you some of my favorite performances.
After the show, I got to meet Zoe, who ended up placing as first runner up overall. Of course, I got to see Soraya and take some photos. And then Alyssa and I went out to dinner at this restaurant called Lily's. It was pretty good. I had the clam pizza, Alyssa had the fish tacos, and then we also split a dessert. Then we went back to the hotel and we met up with Daisy, our Miss Rhode Island USA 2018. We also popped our head into the party. They had food there for the contestants, a DJ. It was so much fun. I wish more pageants were like this. After a very long day, I barely made my train. I got home, took my ponytail down, I did a double cleanse of my makeup, and then of course some skincare, and then I headed off to bed. The next morning I was feeling a little bit slow, so I kicked off the day with a P-Volve workout. I wanted to feel really energized for the day. Then I decided to deepen my tan, and then I poured myself some Bolt House Farms vanilla chai. It's their little protein drink, and I really like it in the mornings. I was in a rush doing my makeup, so I just did that really quickly. I jumped on the train, and then I got dressed at the train station when Trevor told me that he was on his way. I wore a lavish Alice dress from Depop, a vintage thrifted Nine West purse, and then thrifted Tony Bianco heels. Trevor and I had recorded a good luck message for Soraya, and unfortunately, because I hit that slow button we don't have the audio we arrived at the venue and it was pretty packed they got started right away with their opening number and then trevor got nervous so he was stress eating soon after they announced the top 23 here they are and the show went on
I finally got to meet Derby, who I worked with prior to her winning her Miss New Jersey USA title. And I also got to meet Nikita, and we will be doing a collaboration very soon. And then, of course, afterwards, I caught up with Soraya and Trevor, and we took her back to the hotel to drop off her things, to change, to eat some well-deserved donuts. And then we all went out to dinner, which was really fun. And then I had to run and leave dinner a little bit early, catch the train so I can make it home. We had dinner at this place called The Blind Pig. We were so grateful because it was after 10 p.m. and their kitchen closes at 1.30 a.m. So that was perfect for us and shared all of those. And then in a really strange turn of events, when I got to the train, I ran into Nole Marin. And this is wild because I used to watch him growing up on America's Next Top Model when I just dreamt of being on that show. We connected and we're both really hopeful that we'll be doing some sort of collaboration in the hopefully near future. I am so exhausted. It's one in the morning. I'm finally back. I cannot believe I'm at Nolly Marin. I, I, this is literally what I envisioned for my life by moving to New York. Just random meetings. A little low energy right now because I'm just so sleepy, but oh gosh, what am I doing? I have coaching tomorrow with three or four clients. Oh my goodness. And then get ready for Ohio to go see Christine and John. Yay! I cannot wait. I'm ready for bedtime. What a long day. Very excited for whatever our next adventures might be. I hope that you'll continue to join me for them. Bye!